It is a beautiful morning on the far away, far, far away, whatever kind of ranch this may be. It is a beautiful morning. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome back to Slime Rancher. It's been a couple of days since the last episode, and it's been a couple of weeks since I last played Slime Rancher. And the reason for both of those things is exactly the same. There's a new update. There is a new update. It's Victor's Experimental Ranch, and we don't yet have access to it. We got some things we need to do before we can get access to it that I'm hoping we can do. We are going to need uh, the Treasure Cracker Mark II is what we need. That's the last thing, because to get Victor's Experimental Thing, it's very similar to getting stuff from Machi and from the other guy. Uh, basically, we need to unlock the ruins. We need to have the lab unlocked over there as well. And we also need to have the treasure cracker Mark II, which we're going to have to get our hands on one way or another. I'm not really sure what that'll be. We'll look it up on the wiki in a little bit, I'm sure. But basically, it is another alternative ranch, very similar to Machi's Manor and Ogden's Retreat. That's the name of them. Very similar to that. It does have some interesting stuff going on over there with slimes. And uh, that's not actually the only thing that has happened. That's not the only update that we have. There is a new uh, paid-for expansion, a new paid-for update to Slime Rancher, because Victor's Experimental Ranch is uh, is a free update. The paid-for one is Secret Styles, and that's out as well. That came out yesterday, if you're watching this in the day that this video goes out. And we can actually read about it here. I've already read this, but I'll read it again, because I kind of enjoy it. So... Miss LeBeau, what if we told you that the 7Z Corporation has developed technology called Secret Styles that allows slimes to express themselves and show off their inner beauty as they saw it? If you answered that question, please know that we cannot hear you as you're reading a star mail on a visual display unit. However, we'll proceed as though you are excited. We're so happy that you're excited. Unfortunately, the cargo ship containing the secret stars exploded for completely unknown reasons and left them all over the far, far range, but please stay excited. The 7Z Corporation is proud to announce that secret styles for slimes are now available in unknown whereabouts throughout the far, far range. Please find them and please test them. The 7Z Corporation, returning decisions to store boom plorts next to fire plorts and cargo holds into glorious treasure hunts for ranchers, one cover up at a time. All right. We have two things we need to do then. We need to get the treasure cracker Mark II, and we also need to get ourselves some secret styles, methinks. Let's see, you guys like veggies and meat. You guys are meat and veggies. You guys like fruit, right? Have some phase lemons. In fact, have all the phase lemons, because I have so many of these that I might as well just give... You know what? Any of my slimes that eat fruit, I might just start giving them phase lemons. It really might be the way to go. But in the meantime, I kind of want to go out into the far, far range, and I kind of want to explore a little bit, because I want to find some secret styles. I'm sure... I mean, I have to imagine some of them are going to be in, like relatively easy to access spots i would imagine i also don't think i've been down here yet like i've always known this little area existed i don't know if i've ever been back here though i'm not sure we've got tabbies back here have i been here i feel like i should have i feel like this is a really easy way to get tabby slimes as well but okay don't know if i've ever been back there i don't think that's new i don't think that's part of any of the updates but sure <laughs> that's all right We'll figure things out. Anything going to be over there, I wonder? There does look to be something glowing back there. I kind of want to see what that's going to be. Because I don't remember that ever being there before. What is this? Oh. Open the pod. What do we got? Is this one of the secret styles? Sparkly. Yeah, there we go. Visit the ranch house to manage secret styles. All right. Okay. So we've just got sparkly slimes. Oh, this is like, I never played. I was going to say it's like Pokemon, but I actually, I'm not a big Pokemon guy, to be totally honest. Are you, sp oh no. Is that what they look like when they're sparkly? Oh my God, I'm going to love this. Oh, I'm going to love this. Where's the rest of them? I need all of them. 
there's apparently some really, like, I've seen some screenshots. Apparently, there's, like, some seriously adorable ones. Also, I cannot open that right now. Oh, my God. I I need all of these. I, I'm honestly going to need all of these. I'm going to have to do so much exploring here. But that's one. That is one secret style. Let me go ahead and grab all of you as well. Because uh, I'm not going to say no to more chickens. Anything in here? Wait, there it is. What's this one? What's this one going to be? Give me that secret style. Heavy metal. All right. Love me some heavy metal. I'm not going to complain. Not going to complain. I'd love to see what it looks like. I'd like. I get the picture and all, but I'd love to see a little more. Wait, is that it? Oh my god. You look awesome. They're just metal. Okay. So what happens if like a sparkly and a heavy metal one cross over? Apparently it goes sparkly interesting. Okay, well, I want to go up here because I'm pretty sure there's probably going to be something up here. Maybe. I might be wrong, but I'm just... Um, I'm thinking. Apparently I am just completely wrong, though. Can I open this? Yeah, I can. All right. Let's get you out of here. I don't need an elder roostro. What is this? Ooh. Spiral steam. All right. Not sure I really care for any of that. Anything down there I should be aware of? Doesn't look like it. Let's just keep going. We're going to go into the moss blanket. We can loop around into the ancient ruins. I'm going to find as many of these as I can in just one run here. I can also open this, which I'm totally going to do. What do we got? Give me something good. Blueprint acquired. Oh, it's a blueprint for coral grass. All right. Okay. Feel, I feel like I could make a Walking Dead joke, but I also, much like Pokemon, I've never really cared for the Walking Dead. I did really like Breaking Bad, though. Before anyone's like, oh, you don't like good things, I like Breaking Bad. I was good. I marathoned most of that before the final season. That was, that was kind of neat. I'm always weird with that stuff, though, man. Like, people are always like, oh, Pokemon's... I didn't like, I didn't really watch... Oh, I forgot about these. I for, hold on. Oh, hello. Give me that new buck ornament right there. I'm going to go rid of these hens because I guess I need to investigate this. So we got wild honey. And what is that? I don't know. Buds wax. Uh, I guess I could leave the ornament here and come back and get it. Oh, let's see what's in that one over there. Let's see what's over here. What do you got for me? Uh, we got... Wild honey and buzz wax. Okay, the ornament can live there. I'm gonna take the buzz wax. And yeah, like I was saying, so I, I remember when I was a kid, everyone's like, oh my god, Pokemon. Oh my god, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And I was like, meh, I kind of just prefer Star Wars. And I was the weird kid for that. Um, apparently. Wait, have I ever I've never been over here. I have never been over here. Hello? Oh, is this just like an official way up here? Uh, I guess it is. Hold on. Uh, oh, it's way back. Oh my god, I never knew that existed. That's the way out of the moss blanket. Oh my god, I always thought you had to go around. Dude, I didn't know that existed. Okay, that changes everything. Oh, that changes everything. Okay, I'm gonna need to remember that exists. Anyway, back to story time. Uh, yeah, I, I was more like Star Wars and like... The old uh, Spider-Man, what is that? The old the old Spider-Man thing, it's the arm ball, okay. The old Spider-Man cartoon on uh, on Fox. I don't I think it was like, the, the channel was like Fox Kids in the UK. I don't know what it would've been, would've been elsewhere, but like the, the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. I was into that, I was into Star Wars, because I was in, I was a kid in school when the prequels came out. I'm, I'm talking like I'm so old here. Um, but I was a kid in school when the prequels come out, and I was just all over that. Star Wars Episode One is like one of the first movies I ever saw uh, in the theater. And I'm sure that, you know, oh, hello. Hello. All right, we need to remember you're here. Absolutely need to remember that you're here. Uh, and yeah, I'm sure someone's going to be like, oh, Star Wars Episode One in the theater, you poor thing. I like it. Star Wars Episode One, and I will argue this until I take my last breath. Star Wars Episode One is miles better than Star Wars Episode 2. Attack of the Clones, if you take out the Battle of Geonosis, is awful. 
There is almost nothing redeeming about the rest of that movie. And you can be like, oh, but Django Fett's really cool. Django Fett was just like, oh, hey, we had Boba Fett in The Empire Strikes Back. It was the second one of that trilogy. We need another Fett here. Django, like, the best thing about Episode 2 is that it spawned some pretty good video games. Because you got the Star Wars Bounty Hunter. But, like, I don't, you know what? I might even turn YouTube comments back on for this video and let you guys debate this. All right? I might. I legitimately, for this one video, I may turn comments on. And, like, the only, th oh, hello. The only thing you're allowed to discuss is the... <laughs> This, oh my god, we got the Cheshire Cat! Dude, yes! Oh, I was looking for that one. Um, anyway, back to the important part. I might turn comments on for this video, and the only comments that are gonna be allowed are, uh, are comments debating that whether or not Star Wars Episode 1 is better, or Star Wars Episode 2 is better. We're not talking about the, the, the sequel trilogy. Personally, I think The Last Jedi is alright. I kind of like The Force Awakens. I think Rogue One is the best one to come out of the, the like the Disney era. But I might legitimately turn comments on just for for that discussion. <laughs> uh, this <laughs> If you are here to check out the new Slime Rancher update, I'm so sorry. Um I'm so sorry. I need to um I want to get these styles and then circle back around to the ranch. And then I want to do a little bit of, um, uh, I guess, reading on the wiki to see how I get the the uh, the cool unlock that I want. Get out of here, you. Get the treasure cracker mark, too. That's what we're looking for. Any other any other styles around here? Ow. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm only slightly singed off that explosion. Isn't there a... Um, yeah, there's a Hunter Gordo up in that thing there. Okay. Uh, can I get out? Oh, ah! Hey, you chill. Saddled on, fellas. Ow. Hello. Are you friend? Oh, you've got the Cheshire thing. Oh. Oh, he's got the tail. He's got the tail wrapped around him. Oh, my God. Oh, I love this. I love this. This is so <laughs> I'm so excited, man. I am so excited to see what they all look like. This game needs multiplayer. This game, like, this is this is something like, I know so many people I would love to play this game with. Like, give me multiplayer Slime Rancher. Because <laughs> there's so many people I can think that I would play this with. It's like Stardew Valley, right? Everyone was like, oh, Stardew Valley with multiplayer, imagine. And they did it, it was so good. This game needs that. This game needs needs multiplayer. I'm also totally lost. Oh, that's a teleporter back to the right. Oh, we're here. We're at the end of the moss blanket. Okay. Um, sure. You know what? We'll go into the ancient ruins later. I I want to look at the uh, at the styles here. Secret styles. Give your slimes a fresh new look by discovering secret styles hidden in special treasure pods throughout the far far range. Once unlocked, you can manage which secret styles you wish to show on each slime. Secret styles are purely cosmetic and won't change a slime's diet or the type of plort that they produce. So we can have sparkly pink slimes, we can have heavy metal uh, rock slimes, we can have Cheshire hunter slimes, and then, yeah. Oh, that's perfect, dude. Hold on, but my hunter slimes are... Hold on a minute, so you guys... Oh, look at you! <laughs> oh, the rock tabby largos are like really heavy metal now, dude. That's awesome, okay. All right, all right. Uh, what about you guys? Like, you're- Yeah, you're sort of Cheshire looking! Oh, that's awesome! Okay. Oh, and you guys are all sparkly as well as being mosaic. I love this. Oh, I love this. Are you guys okay over here? Yeah, you are. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna just like- Oh, I can't even fish out your plort. Never mind. Let's go throw all this stuff into the, um, into the lab, and then I guess- I guess we could go explore a little more, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up the wiki and I'm gonna find out what exactly we need for Treasure Cracker Mark Two, because we really need to get our hands on that. I think it's about time. I also want to see out of curiosity, can I get another drone by any chance? Uh, honey plort, and yes, I could. Well, when you put it like that, we're gonna get another drone. Let me go get some honey plort, because another drone sounds like a fantastic addition to all of this. Uh, we might want to get ourselves another market link as well. 
because we could put a second drone into the grotto and we could then automate the uh, the plort collection from all of the areas where we have slimes right now. That's really tempting. It is also really tempting to start funneling food into different places, like maybe set up a silo in the main area, something like that, maybe a drone in, I guess the overgrowth, a drone in the overgrowth to start funneling food into the silo. Might not be a bad idea. We'll figure it out, I think. Uh, market link we can afford, I'm not gonna get. Drone, fabricate, market link. Yeah, we can't fabricate, that's fine. And then none of this either. Actually, a bit of phosphor plort and we could get the violet slime lamp. That's kind of neat. Okay. Okay, I might actually do that. I have never had one of those before. So, I mean, it's a bit of a waste of this stuff, but sure, I'm gonna go do it. Why not? Let's go and uh, let's go and funnel. Let's go get some, some phosphor plort, I guess, and then get a violet lamp. That sounds kind of neat, actually. So I'm gonna grab all of you. I don't know how much I need, but I'll grab like 30 exactly. Uh, this isn't picking up any of... The, yeah, we really need a drone and a market link in here. I think what I might honestly do is... Yeah, I think we're gonna have to get a market link. We need a market link in here because the, the, the grotto is getting a little bit carried away with plort. This area over here, these quantum slimes, a lot of plort there too, but... We can sort that shortly. So there's all of the phosphor plorts. And then what would we need? What do we need for it? Jellystone? Eh, I don't care about that. Give me that violet slime lamp. And I don't know where to put it. Uh, I really don't know. I also realize there's no point in putting a drone into the grotto yet. Because we can't do much with it. So let me do... Let me do a slime lamp. I don't know. Over here? Is that an option? It totally is. Uh, let's do... I mean, I'm pretty sure I can pick it up again, so I can just sort of see what it looks like, I guess. Let's do here. And let's do install. Is that it? That's it, really? That's okay. <laughs> That's honestly not quite what I... Th I'm not sure what I expected, but it wasn't that. It definitely... I was expecting something a little... Uh... Bigger to be honest. Anyway, uh, let's install a drone here and let me activate you. So you are going to target... Oh, you can only do... You can only do vegetables or fruit. Interesting. Okay, and then I can say specific different things. Alright, that's a bit... That's a bit annoying, but all right, I guess. Uh, we'll have you target, I think, fruit, right? This is the only vegetable. That's fruit, and there's fruit over there. There are carrots around in here, but I think we'll do fruit. So you're going to target uh, fruit. You're going to source it from gardens, I guess, and you're going to dump it into... Silos, activate. So that should work, I imagine. You'll go grab some of this stuff here and then dump it into the side. I don't know what you're going to do. We'll figure it out. We'll come back and visit you later. But that seems all right. I think, you know, other than other than needing to go to the wiki, uh, I think we're pretty set to move forward here. The Treasure Cracker Mark II allows you to open blue pods and will become available after the Mark I upgrade is bought and a total of 35 gadgets have been crafted in the lab. It costs 9,000 uh, new bucks. All right, 35 gadgets. 35 gadgets. 30, 35 ga- oh boy. So looking at achievements, we have crafted 19 things in the lab. Okay. There is a solid chance, then, that we are not going to get to have a look at Victor's Experimental Ranch today. But I think what we'll do, then, is we'll spend the rest of this episode focusing on the Secret Styles stuff. I'm also going to just get these phase lemons over here for these guys, although they don't really... Well, they do eat them. The plort just doesn't get collected because there's just not enough space for all that plort. But that's all right. We'll grab all of this, and we'll dump a bunch of the phase lemons right in there 
and that'll keep them nicely fed. I could probably feed these guys a little bit less often, but I'm not going to take that risk. But I think what, we do, what we'll do, like I said, is we'll head off and see if we can get more secret styles. I think that might be a pretty good idea. Gives me a little bit of a focus. I'm also going to have to figure out what... What do we need to craft? Uh, 16 more things in the lab. I'm probably going to have to figure out what the cheapest things are. Honestly thinking that... There's a style over there. Honestly thinking it's probably going to be things like extractors. I might just see if I can sort of cheese out, you know, 16 novice quality extractors or something like that. Or apiaries or whatever. Uh, I might, I might do that. That might be the best way to do it and probably the quickest way to do it. Let's see what this is going to be right here, though. I'm kind of excited for another style. It is Angelic Phosphor Slimes. All right. Don't mind if I do. Angelic Phosphor Slimes sound kind of adorable. Gives them a little halo and everything. I doubt there's going to be any styles over in here, because if I remember right, there wasn't much over here. But I'm curious anyway. I, I'd like to just have a look. Uh, there's one of those Mark II things there. So we'll fly up and we can just sort of look down into this area and see if there are any styles whatsoever. It's not really looking like it, but down here there could be. You never know. Oh, over here and over here. Nothing behind me. And there's a treasure pot. I mean, I might as well grab this while I'm here. What do we got? We got more of this stuff, more of the deep. Oh, it's deep brine and lava dust. We haven't got that before. Oh, okay. Well, we do need that for some things that we're going to want to be building. So that's going to be really useful for getting more things into the, uh, the what do you call it? Into the lab or out of the lab, I should say. Uh, you guys are not very happy with me, but I just want to make sure I'm not missing any styles down here. Ow. Doesn't look like I am. Hi, guys. I'm going to just fly out of here. Ow. Please, please. Uh oh. Well, this is bad. This is bad. Let me just, let me, oh. Let me just get out of here. I just want to leave. I didn't do anything. I didn't mean to step onto your turf, I swear. Yeah, try and get me up here. Oh! Okay. It wasn't a challenge. It was more of a... Uh, <laughs> I'd really like to leave right now. <laughs> All right, Indigo Quarry. What have you got for me around here? What have you got? Is there anything up there? I don't see anything glowing, but I kind of need to know. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Fair enough. Uh, there is a cave over there I could go look into, but I'm going to sort of just continue around this way because I feel like this is where things will probably be. I'm also wondering if I could... Aha! I knew it! Right there. Give me that. What is it? Oh, it's the lily pad one for you guys. Look at you, you little adorable pl uh, stinker. Plort. I don't know what... Uh, kind of the same thing in this world, I suppose. Uh, there's probably more over here. This this area kind of continues for a little bit. And we haven't found anything for Rad Slimes yet, who you first encounter in this area. So I'm assuming... And, and this is... this this. I mean, you know what they say about assuming, but I have this theory that each of the... So you find Rad Slimes around here, right? So what I'm thinking is that each of the treasure pods... You can find a treasure pod for each type of slime in the area where you would be most likely to first encounter that slime, right? That that kind of seems to be the thing. So yeah, I mean like the pink uh the pink gordo used to be where you find the sparkly thing for the pink slimes. The heavy metal thing was in the area where you would first find rock slimes. The lily pad one is in the area where you're most likely to first find puddle slimes. I don't know about the angel one, now that I think about it, but I just have a theory that that might be what's going on here, and I'm kind of okay with that. That's kind of cool. That's that's a good way to do it, because it means, it, like, if you're a new player, right, if you've just started playing this, then you're going to find lots of cool stuff in your first run through, whereas if you're someone that has played a bit and, you know, you've got a bit of experience with it and you've done a lot of stuff, you know, you've got all of your slimes, Already, you've done a lot of exploring. It kind of gives you a reason to go back and and explore it. So I'm kind of liking the secret styles thing. I, I I should mention I didn't get it for free or anything like that. This isn't like I'm not 
paid to say any of this because I do, you know, it's the nature of YouTube. Sometimes I do get sponsors. This is not one of them. I have not been given the code. Oh, we need to open this because that's through the ancient ruins. Uh, I do sometimes get codes for games for free. Sometimes we paid to you know, talk about games and show them off a bit. This is not that. This is not one of those situations. I, uh, I paid for secret styles and I waited just like everybody else for... Uh, the new update, so how did this get done here? <laughs> what is this one gonna be? Is this the rad slime one? Yeah, radiant, there we go. I, I'm pretty sure it's fair to say I'm right in my theory then. That's, uh, the area in which you will first encounter a slime is the area in which you will find the treasure pod or the secret style for that type of slime. Which means that the ancient ruins is probably where we'll find something for quantums. Uh... For tabbies, where do you first encounter tabby slimes? I feel like you first encounter them in the same area that you find the rock slimes. So, yeah, we're going to have to probably go back there. Oh, there's a treasure pod way over there. That's one of the level three ones, though, which needs a hundred. Need a solid hundred things crafted in the, uh, in the, what do you call it? The lab. So we'll have to figure that out. Uh, let me have a look, though. I guess, I guess we'll dump a, a, a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff? I guess we'll dump a bunch of stuff, the stuff we got down here, into the, into the lab, the deep brine and the lava dust. Uh, I also want to hit uh, you with some water, just to get you refilled there, so you get back to work. And then I guess we head into just the range again and see what we can find. That's, that's probably not a bad idea. Just heading out and see if we can do some cool stuff. Uh, we can also have a look here and see. What do we need for our drill? So it's just plort. That's actually fantastic. So we could just make 16 novice drills. Um, or those, or those. And with that in mind, let me just go grab... Let me, let me get a bunch of food, right? Because pink slimes will eat anything. Right, so if I grab a bunch of phase lemon. And just start feeding it to my pink slimes. We can get a bunch of that. And we can go ahead and start the process of just getting a bunch of novice drills and apiaries and all that stuff. So you guys are going to be getting phase lemons, is what you're going to be getting. So there's a bunch of them in there, and there's a bunch of them for you guys to eat. And that'll hopefully keep them nice and happy. They can just eat all of those and plort everywhere, and let me start collecting. That's the stuff right there. That's what we need. We are going to need so much more, but this will be the easy way to do it. Basically, just cheese it a little bit. Just get as much pink slime as I possibly can. I think that's going to have to be my plan. I think that's what we have to do. Can we just take a moment to acknowledge that the rad slimes with Radiance and then the Cheshire Hunters is both terrifying and adorable at the same time? Uh, similarly, these guys are just really horrifying. <laughs> oh, man, that, that is something right there. Uh, I do have to wonder then... Uh, just thinking about the the whole expansion, thinking about, you know, the styles and all that, I think it might very well be every slime that has a secret style. Which means that if I go into the glass desert, I might find some styles in there as well. Which I think will be very exciting, so we might have to go do that. We might, might, might have to go do that. I just want to get my pink plort first over here, because we should... I, th I think we're going to have enough of everything else. It's just the pink plort that we need so much of. Obviously, I can just head out into the the ranch, the whatever it's called, the area just outside of here, and get some. You know, there's a lot of pink slimes out there. But if I just do this, I should have enough to make three novice drills. Uh, the novice pumps we can make as well. We have a decent amount of uh, all of that. So I think what we'll do is we'll just make one of each. So we'll make a novice drill. We'll make a novice pump. We'll make a novice... We're not going to make apiaries because that needs a lot more. Uh, we'll just make another novice pump then. And what I can do is I can actually just sort of fire them in here. So install the novice drill. Install a novice pump. And then install a novice pump there. And then we have the advanced one, which honestly, yeah, why not? We'll install that there as well. 
So we'll have those all work. So that brings us up to if we look at achievements and go way down here, uh, we're looking for the one that's like 22 of 35. So 13 more. That's a good start. Obviously, we knew it was kind of 13, you know, basic maths and all that. But that's not bad. That's not bad. That's a start. All right. I'll tell you the last thing I want to do in today's episode before we wrap this up, then. I want to go out and I want to find the secret style for the tabby slimes. I want to see what they're going to look like because I'm really, really curious. Oh, wait a minute. What? Treasure cracker mug? Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how that's happened, but apparently we've got it. We can go buy it. Never mind all you. I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I can just go back here and just buy it. Okay. I mean, boom. All right. Now we've done that. We should have a phone call from Victor. A rad slime's natural evolution or result of exposure to foreign matter. You want rad slimes and you want... Oh, God, I don't have either of those. And I have 16 minutes to get them. Okay. We can do the pink slimes. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, we're going to get to Victor. Well, not today we're not. I guess this is going to be a bit of a tease and a cliffhanger. Uh, but that's fine. I think we need to get, like, I'm just gonna try and get 10 of these guys and then get 10 of the rad slimes and we'll go from there. I'm still determined to find that tabby secret style though. So we might have a little bit of a longer episode ending here than I thought. Although alternatively, I don't need to show you me gathering pink slimes or rad slimes. We've done that a million times. So let's see where we end where we uh, end up here because i am not sure <laughs> oh hello i do not know what's happened here but i've been told by so many people on reddit that if i hit you with water it'll make you stop oh it does i thought it would just calm them down so you straight up just kill them okay well we just killed a bunch of slimes all right that's actually really useful to know actually hey 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 last of you last of you that's enough get out of here uh, da, 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 da. That's what I thought. That's what I thought right there. None of that. Okay. All right. So tabby slimes are often found down here. Really? More of them? Okay. You know what? I'm just going to go in here because uh, you guys are clearly not capable of taking out, uh, looking after yourself. So, oh my God. Hello. I'm, go I'm going through here. Don't mind me. All right. So the tabby slimes... May have to wait, unfortunately. I was really hoping I could, uh, I was really hoping I could find it, but I think I'll just have to do some, some digging around and some scouting and all that stuff and see if I can find it some other time, possibly just in the next episode, honestly, uh, because we will be finding more of the, we will be finding more of just everything in, in the next one, I'm sure, because I do want to go to the glass desert and I do want to go to the wilds and all that stuff and see if I can find anything interesting. Uh, that's a teleporter back to the ranch. I can open that, but I don't really want to. I don't really have the space for everything right now. Hold on, what was that? Oh, that was the map thing. Okay. Well, we're not really going to be needing that. We've already got it. Uh, we've been in here. I need you before you go anywhere. I need these rad slimes. And they're so bright. They're vibrant. Like, they're really, really vibrant. I love it. That, like, new look for them is great. Hold on a minute. What's done here? Is this, is this somewhere that's explorable? Oh, this is where the crystal, I forgot about you guys. Oh, hold on a minute. You guys probably have a new style as well, right? And the boom slimes as well. Oh, tell me it's in here. I realize I might have just gotten like all the easiest ones so far. But I'd love to see what the crystal slimes look like. I would love to see what they look like. Doesn't really look like I'm going to have the chance, but... That's all right. Okay. We're going to have to go back and explore that properly at some point. I don't, I, I'm not in a rush. I just, I'm, I'm on a mission. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, Hey, we've got the opportunity to unlock Victor's, uh, experimental ranch. I, I kind of need to take it. So give me these rad slimes here. All of them, please. There we go. I got the rock slimes out of here. No, 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 no. Don't eat anything. There we go. We have 10, uh, of each. So I think we can go. I think I think we're good. Anything down here? Nope. All right. Okay. We can scram. We can get out of here. 
Back to the ranch. We'll give Victor the slimes. We'll get the teleporter. And next time, we're going to have to figure out where this tabby secret style is. Same with the boom slimes. Although I think that one might be in the ancient ruins, possibly. There's definitely a chance. Although the boom slimes, I don't think we first find them in the ancient ruins. Uh, that's definitely where I'm thinking the quantum stuff will be, though. All right, so this is back to the ranch. I think through here should take me into the grotto. It absolutely does. Oh, I'm excited for this, man. I'm actually really excited. I love new stuff. Like, all of, you know, exploring Machi's Manor and all the other stuff we've been doing. Like, all of that is so new to me. I never did that, in, like, when it came out, so... It's really exciting seeing uh, seeing all this stuff for the first time and then kind of, uh, you know, th this right here, like experiencing a new update for the first time. I I've never done this before. Um, I don't really need all of this. I'm going to give you guys uh, over there the phase lemons because I really don't want to leave this lying around. <laughs> that seems like a terrible idea. So we'll fire these in here. We'll fire the hunter floor in there. We're going to just kill you guys because I really don't need more of you. And we have a little bit of mail to read. So, star mail from Victor Humphreys. Ms. LeBeau, I have heard of your accomplishments here on the far, far range. You seem to be very capable, quick thinking, and able to adapt to new conditions. Exactly the kind of person I need for my latest project. Should you find this proposition agreeable, I have activated a teleporter in your lab to my undersea workshop. I hope to see you soon. Sincerely, Victor Humphreys. P.S. Should you accept this offer, I promise we refer to each other in... Uh, I propose we refer to each other in a casual manner going forward. A reduction in formality will expedite every future interaction that relies on dialogue. In short, may I please refer to you as Beatrix? I'll think about it. I'll have a think about it. <laughs> 